Hey y'all, back again, but this time for some content. So as this gets loaded and we get ready to go because I have a clip that I did for you guys to make it kind of concise and tell you where we're headed, I will play the intro and then we'll get going. Everybody buckled up and ready to go. Hey, Chris, crazy chick, Donna. Oh, Chris, it, everything he's doing today. You guys get your helmets out because this is ridiculous. Donna, Tony, oh, oh, you're not joking. I don't even think they would hit number three in Botswana. Revival, Tracy, Thor, this will be interesting. What? What? Revival? Yeah, she, she doesn't quite get it. Hey, Janice, Death Grips, Natalie, Starry Night, Sheila, Marcy, Penny for your thoughts, Lurker, Brandy J, SWTC. Okay, let's get to it. We're going to start off right here. Okay, buckle up, y'all. This is just a short clip that I condensed with some of my thoughts of what I was hearing. You're going to hear the full thing with full context coming up, too. But this is where we'll start off. 44 days right now. It, that, it don't make sense, man. It really don't. 44. 44 days right now. But I love your show, and we're going to keep praying for that little fella. And if don't nobody want him, I'll take you. You heard it from her here. You won't have to worry about nothing. I'll take you to that child. God bless. I cannot stand to see a child mistreated. I cannot stand it. She said, if it's not right. Him, I'll take him. I need to drink her water. Somebody said in chat. I need to drink her water. <laughs> Yeah, preach. All right, T-Rev, good night. God bless you. And Thank keep you for putting your name out there, baby. Absolutely. God bless you. Thank you for the wonderful words on here. Hang him from a crane. Hang him from a what? Say one Hang more him thing. on that crane he operates from his nuts. That's what you do. Hang him from a crane. Hang him from a what? Say one Hang more thing. Hang him on that crane he operates from his nuts. That's what you do. Oh, my He'll tell what he did. Mm. I don't know nothing. I about shouldn't that. say that on on there, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. It's your it. thoughts, but at the end of the day, you know, with nobody's charged of anything. But I get what you're saying. God bless you, ma'am. I hope you have a beautiful night. Thank you so much for using your voice here tonight for Sebastian Wayne Drake Rogers. Day forty four. Now he's been missing. Thank you so much. God bless you. Out there, a good phone call from her. 219-85-96-93 as we continue to take phone calls as we cover the case of Sebastian and Drake Rogers. Wow, she's saying a sack on a crane. Not too much you can say to that, but uh, Bing bang. that's all I can say. 727 sent from her. So if that gives you any indication of where we are about to head, buckle up, it's going to be a bouncy ride because the, this guy right here by the name of T-Rev, whatever the fuck, T-Rev757, he is currently live. We are not going to be reviewing his current live stream. I don't stream tonight usually at all. So we are going back in time, but I want to show you guys something because I looked at this the other day, so I just want to show you guys again. Let's look at his thumbnails and his titles. 
Sebastian Rogers, possible sightings, LE update. Sebastian Rogers, possible sighting. LE gives update. Sebastian Rogers, possible sightings. Parents move to Memphis, question mark. Sebastian Rogers, possible sighting. Nancy Grace and Seth Rogers. Sebastian Rogers, possible sighting. Chris under investigation. Sebastian Rogers, possible sighting. Chris and Katie under investigation. Sebastian Rogers, sighting at Speedway. Sebastian Rogers, a body found on property during search. Sebastian Rogers, possible sighting. Nancy Grace versus the Proudfoots. What? What? Michelle. So we are actually going to go right here in T Rev's timeline. Yesterday, we're going to take a step back to one of his call in shows. We looked at his spirit box stuff the other day. Today, we're going to look at some of his actual content on his main page. On his big page, this is growing super fast too. And he is the epitome of misinformation. So let's go ahead and take a look. We're going to kind of skip to the end of this because it's almost, it's three and a half hours long, but we're going to kind of jump around. So buckle up. This is all under fair use. This is based on my opinion of the content they put out here publicly. This all falls under fair use. It's for educational and entertainment purposes only to show you what an asshole you look like when you do things like this. You fall into the category of a misinformation crony and an exploiter to the 10th degree. See something that I did that it was wrong. I don't mind saying sorry about anything. And I don't mind announcing that. Like I said, I see multiple people roll into Discord talking about, oh, my God, a gun was just pulled. And when I went yeah. to go look on Facebook, I could not find this live, but I just kept seeing these reports. So I was like, you know what? Like, let me put this out to the people that this is what went down. And I feel wrong for doing that. And Oh, you felt wrong for doing that. What about Sebastian Rogers' possible sighting in all of your th titles? What about the fact that you tried to imply that a body was found in this live stream? A body found on property during search? Who's the liar? When that was already clarified very distinctly before you hit that live button. You knew that. You just used it for titles. Again, miss me with your fake accountability here. Now, also, you know, just without seeing it myself, I should have seen it myself and then been like, oh. Thank you all for being here. This is going to be bumpy. Thanks once again to my wonderful mods. I appreciate you so much. Okay, yeah, that's what happened. But it, there's, it doesn't show that. There's nothing that well, shows me that. So, you we, know. We, we. I'll make mistakes, dude, and it's okay. But I'll tell you one thing I'll say mm -hmm. about the about the rally thing that the guy, the preacher dude had, mm -hmm. and this is just my opinion. Sorry if I step on anybody's toes. <laughs> but we don't know that Chris is responsible. Absolutely. And if he and if they prove that he is not responsible and he's absolutely not responsible, I wonder if that preacher then will repent and ask Chris for forgiveness for what he did. Because you took five cops time off of off of duty come out there to keep the crowd under control or whatever was going on. You should ask the question, is T-Rev going to apologize? Is T-Rev going to apologize for all of his misinformation when it comes out that the family didn't have anything to do with it? You should ask him that. Instead of asking about the preacher, dude, it's easy to confront somebody that's not here. Why not confront T-Rev with all of his misinformation? On That was time to be searching. And if you really wanted to do something to help Sebastian, get a group of people. Amanda, that is exactly what Kyle said. He was like, is, Ky is Uni doing music now? Go search mm -hmm. or raise money and give it to Seth. <laughs> Instead of being out there with the sign, you know, hey, Kelly. trying to stir up. Hey, y'all. I just think that was not cool on his end of things, but that's just my opinion. But is your body I don't know. I, Somebody said the body was an old homeless guy found in the woods nine days ago. Absolutely wrong. In fact, it said that this body was found yesterday. This body was not found nine days ago. This body was found yesterday or going into this, yeah. going into today. And they just reported yeah. it out today. I, I went yeah. and looked at this and actually listened to a news clip. In fact, that news clip is somewhere. I'll, I just had it on YouTube and I'll pull it right back up. It, it even says it itself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's WKP, it's WKPT news and WJHL news. That's King Sport news and Johnson city news. Watch this. Um, that's their local stations. And, uh, but I'm just, you know, I'm thinking, I'm, I'm thinking about these two girls, two ladies that are missing. Mm hmm. Yeah, this yeah. one was right here, and it does say it right here. It talks about this body was actually found yesterday, it says. Yeah, this and it, I'll, I'll look for the extra information. It doesn't say male, female, anything. So it just makes me wonder if it's, uh, if it's one of the girls. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm curious. Uh-huh. There's people in the comments like, what kind of reporting is this? You tell us what is, what'd she say? Dear WJHL, something happened, but we don't know what it is, where it happened, and who was involved or any details. You don't have a story? Stop wasting people's time. <laughs> yeah. Because, it, yeah. I mean, it is only a 22-second clip with barely anything in it. It just talks about a body being found. Well, what happens is yeah, that people that. have scanners. You know, they have scanners, and they post stuff and say stuff, and so they have to say something. But mm-hmm. I don't, you know, I don't think it was a home. I, I don't know. I don't know. I have to wait and see what they say. But anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. Um, right, Lord. Yep. Yeah. No, you're good, man. I appreciate you. Thank you for calling in and, and giving us some insight on this area. But that's right by the spot where that alleged sighting was. Alleged. I, again, I don't even know if Seth and them checked into the one in Gatlinburg that I sent over to him. I'm sure he has. So now this fool is sending over tips to the family. This fool right here sending tips to the family, wasting the family's time. I'm not going to say he hasn't because mm-hmm. I did send it to him in full with the person's contact information. So Seth could actually call that person who worked there himself. Mm-hmm. Because that information is attached in the, you know, the email that I copied and pasted to him that was sent to me. So he has all of that. Thank you, Mary, for calling that, in. I appreciate you. Did that, per- did that person that emailed you ever respond back to you? Mm, yeah. <laughs> they're, they're, I see him in chat sometimes, but I'm not going to call them out by their name. Right. No. Okay. I seen them today. All right. They were here today. Oh, cool. Yeah, okay. they were in chat well, today. But I'm not going to say who they are. They don't want to be known. So. Sure. No, I don't. Wait, this is so ridiculous because a lot of these guys are known for emailing themselves with uh possible sightings no, that's you know. cool all right god Thanks bless all you man. do i appreciate you you're welcome lock your doors and stay you vigilant Shout out to Mary. Good phone call. so the soundboard the soundboard gets really interesting throughout this too and it drives me fucking nuts there is something about the use of the soundboard how he mixes it it mixes it in is extremely cringe. New at four, the Sullivan County Sheriff's Office says human remains were found on a Kingsport property yesterday afternoon. That oh, they say that a human remains. This was yesterday afternoon, by the way. Yesterday afternoon, that office said that those were found in the Kingsport area mm-hmm. of the county. The Sheriff's Office investigated on site along with members of the William L. Jenkins Forensic Center. The remain- so it says those human remains were found yesterday afternoon. 575, you're live. What's going on? Five seven five. Could you hear me? Seven five seven from heaven. What's going on? You're live. Seven five seven from heaven. Hello. Yes, ma'am. What's going on, Donna? Hey, what's happening? Hanging in there. What's going on? Talk to us. Well, I was thinking that I don't think that body is him. It's too far away. Yeah, it's far away. In the wrong direction. No shit. No shit, Sherlock's. And do you think they wouldn't be able to identify it? It's only been like six weeks. I mean, six weeks is a long time. But typical, de- they would have been able to identify and it would have already been confirmed to the parents at this point in time. These idiots will just run and make up anything, completely anything. They knew that it was verified. He was just looking for some more misinformation to run. He does between 12, well, 10 to 12 to 14 hours a day exploiting these cases one to the other between his spirit box sessions, which is a complete crock of bullshit to this. It is, oh, this guy might be on the top of the list of exploitation. Pascal's catching him though. And like Mary was saying, it was Mary, right? It was on before. Yeah, that was Mary that was just on before. Yeah, she said, um, she was saying there's there's a girl that went missing in that part of of Tennessee Mm -hmm. back in June. Yeah. And, uh, it was confirmed that it was not Layla Santanello, or I think it's Holly Ann. That was confirmed too. I think her name is her name is Layla. Right. Layla Santanello or something. Mm-hmm. So chances are it could be her because she ran off. And I heard Seth there. tonight. Seth tonight said he hadn't heard anything about this body. That's what Seth said. Yep. I mean, that was the words from you Seth. Know. I heard him be asked the same thing on Pascal's show. I heard him the exact words. He said, I, I haven't heard anything about it. Well, because it has nothing to do with them. So why are you YouTubers trying to do that? And why would Pascal, again, you can watch that yourself. Why would he use that as a show? Pascal, after last night, I have so much to say about him and it is not going to be nice. At one point in time, I would have given him accolades. In fact, when he lost his monetization, I actually helped rally to help do whatever we could to get it back. Miss me with the shit now. He is the exploiter of all exploiters. He weaponizes stuff like this, keeps the dad on panel, on the phone, and then drops stuff like that. 
And he thanked Seth for coming on and putting out all of Sebastian's private business because in Pascal's mind, it's the information that we all need to know. Disgusting. We'll get into him tomorrow, hopefully. You know, it kills me about that. And mm -hmm. it, it, to be honest with you, good. he's the one parent mm -hmm. who is actively searching for this child. Right. And he's hearing information on the internet. Yeah. You know, that's, yeah, that's a lot. just sad to me because he should have, I mean, granted he's looking for his son, but someone should have at least said, Hey man, you know, they have. Y'all, I am the same with you. I'm reading your comments about Pascal. I was so disappointed, so disappointed. I can't even tell you because he has such a needed voice in this arena too. He could do so good by these kids and really stand out. And he has dropped the ball and just shown the grimiest side of anything I could ever say. I am so disgusted. He has the ability to connect to so many things that he's male in this arena. First of all, uh, it's just infuriating. He found some remains up in this county, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. blah, 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 yeah. you know, mm -hmm. just so he could contact somebody. But the sad thing about this for me is, you know, it just makes me wonder, you know, did someone actually take this kid? Right. You know, like I was abduction. listening to you. Yeah, you said it's been a minute, but I've been here. I just haven't been active mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. calling and stuff. Mm -hmm. But um, pretty sure. I, when I was thinking about the very first interview, I went back yesterday. The very first interview they did with um, Katie and uh, Chris. Okay, I'm going to fast forward a little bit. About a certain channel. You know, it just it just because this color goes on. It wasn't found today. It was found yesterday on Sunday. Well, I think the reason why they called somebody out there to examine it is because it's skeletal remains. Okay, we're gonna go. This remains because she just five seven zero. Oh, you're on the show. Oh. Five seven zero. Oh, can you hear me? Okay, eight zero one. What's going on? You're live. Hi there. How, you <laughs> How doing? are you? Yeah. Um. Yeah, I was watching you earlier. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Pay attention to this caller, and then we're gonna skip forward on your. Uh, you know, when you're talking to the spirits on, on you know, the other channel, mm -hmm. and I know you're a spiritualist, I know you believe in God. Right. So, and you know, God sees all. Absolutely. And I truly believe that that body that they found was not Sebastian. Yeah, me neither. I don't think so either. Yeah. I don't and think so. I, And I truly believe that, uh, you know, from seeing with the what the other mediums were talking about, the other mediums. <laughs> he, um, he's still up at that palm that they searched with the dog hat when the dog had a hit on that one. The so take this into account for a moment. They ever since CJ and the misfit, misfit goons were out there searching around doing their grift the other day. CJ and I don't remember who was with him, but they were at the ponds. There was ducks out there. We all saw it on video. Okay. We all saw the location that they were, the ducks, everything like this. So after that's shown publicly, they come up with this timeline. Now watch how this goes. Tension uh, uh Well, whatever it was. They emptied they that bad boy that out. From what I've heard, I've heard they emptied it all the way out. Well, I... Well, I don't know if it was a retention pond or not, it, if it had geese around it. Mm -hmm. And because the boy was saying that there was, you know, uh, he saw geese mm -hmm. and nests and stuff. So a medium saw the videos that were being released by CJ and the others. I guess we could call them the goof troop. No, actually, no, I won't take Chico's line for people that, no, we can't do that. Um, <laughs> I, we can figure out a name for them. But listen to this. We saw this publicly and magically a medium says that they saw him at a pond with ducks around it. Others and uh, a lot of camel cigarette butts. <laughs> Inter well, I don't so, know what pond you're talking about at all. I have no idea. Well, well these might be the ones that were behind the school. I don't know, like you said, if they searched those or not, you know, up, up in the uh, woods. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that. But but he but they said that you know he's halfway in and halfway out the water, hmm. and and that he's in. Be 
somebody, you know, that, um, I guess, you know, that's on one of these platforms here actually passed them, they said. Well, if they know the location, that, why don't they go out there and show everybody? Um, like, that's just my thought. When you're telling me that somebody knows the location, I'm like, damn, why don't they just fly out there and, and go take them right to the spot? I wish they yeah. would. I mean, what's going on? If he's right there, like they... somebody's claiming it, and it's a psychic saying he's I... right here, why don't they go out there and show these people, hey, he's right here? It... Because you know as well as the rest of it that, that it's bullshit. You know that. Yeah, oh, it's going to get worse. Yeah, exactly, Chico. We won't let that happen. We'll come up with another name for them. Um. Yeah, y'all, this is, this is going to get nasty. This is... Yeah, B Tim, that's that's extremely interesting that he mixes religion. We're gonna hear him pray. We're gonna hear all that. It'd be I, a lot easier. Yeah, that's I, my I mean, thoughts when you tell me that. Yeah. That's my thoughts when you tell me that. I'm like, why doesn't this site need to show up to the location and show them right there that this that he's there? Because then rumors like this wouldn't be flying around, you know? That's my personal thought. Well, about it, it. well this isn't the first time I've heard this though. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I've heard it. I mean, what? like I said, you know. <laughs> I, I, I feel so strong. I've never felt so strongly about this in my whole life. Mm -hmm. I've, I've never felt so strongly about putting out misinformation that we all watched go down on live streams. And he wasn't found. What? Why is my thing not working? Hold on. And I, I truly believe, you know, in, in, what, in what the spirits say. I mean, you know, even God and Jesus were spirits. So, mm, absolutely. But I, I, no, you know, I'm saying in general for psychics are like, man, I know right where he's at. Well, why don't we show up and pull up out there and show him right where they're at or right where Sebastian is, if that's the case. That's just how well, I look at it sometimes because it's like, damn, if you know where he's at, then you're holding out. T-Rev, just a note of advice, and this isn't body shaming you, but please go out and get some sunlight. Dude, you're, you're w way pastier than I am. Like, you almost blend into your shirt. Come on, you need to go touch some grass. Get out from behind the screen for a minute. You can tell you haven't seen sun in a long time. You're like blending into the background here. Well, what's going on? Well, all I know is that she said that the divers were so close, hmm. you know, if they had just went a little bit further, that, you know, they, they, they yeah, they, 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 could have, they could have found them. And that, you know, he, he's in between some bushes that he's, you know, halfway in the water and halfway out, you know, and, and if they go the in pond? between these, uh, she didn't say the name of the pond because I guess there's quite a few ponds, but she knows right where he's at, but doesn't know the name of the pond. The irony, huh? I just piques my interest when she says, Well, they dove right by him, but what is the name of the pond? I wish I knew the name of it. You get some people over there. Well, I guess it's whatever pond that the divers were in and that the dog. I guess she she mentioned the dog that mm -hmm. the dog actually had a hit, you know, when they were just brushing wow. it off as it was nothing. I'm saying we'll fly her in, Lily. Whoever it is, if the psychic knows exactly where they're at, shit, we don't mind. We'll come up. We'll fly her in there. You'll fly her in there. You mean your subs will fly her in there because you'll grift off their backs for that too? All right, you guys heard enough of that. Let's go a little bit further in to where we're really gonna get some interesting conversation going. Please understand that what you're about to hear is disgusting. This is over a missing child that is on the screen. This is Sebastian Rogers. Unfortunately, he is being lost in his own case and this guy is about to exploit the ever-loving shit out of this. That's what they need to do. Mm. Oh, you talk about the guy that called in was talking about- uh... Okay, we're gonna back up to this caller. Boy, 662, I'm on with you talking. Can you hear me? Hello. Yes, ma'am. You're live. How you doing tonight? Hey, T. Rev. How you doing? I'm, I'm from Tupelo, Mississippi. Mississippi in the building. How you doing tonight? Good. I think we all need to quit having our own thoughts about this and that. Can you do me a favor and mute the background for me? And you'll be good to go? Because the uh, listeners can hear it. They can hear the background, the echo. Thank you. I appreciate you. Okay. Yes. I don't please. believe the little boy ever made it home. Mm -hmm. I believe Chris had that all planned out, and he gave her the ultimatum of either him or that child. Mm -hmm. And I believe the law knows more than they, 
they tell him, and they just wait and knock their feet out from under them. Hmm, interesting. Can you, can you mute the background for me? I can still hear it. It's just, it's just the user, the, everybody who is listening can hear the echo in the background. They can hear it because it's a little bit late. So if you're listening to me, we're right on par. But if you're listening to that, it's like 10 seconds behind. Okay, what just can hear the echo in the background. They can hear it. How about that? Mm-hmm. And uh, Sounds good, right? We need to truly pray for that little boy. Yes, ma'am. I pray that he is found alive. But if he is, that child is going to be so messed up. Mm hmm. But if he's not no longer with us, we all got to thank the good Lord because he's up there with him. Yeah. And I, I something else that made me mad the other day. Mm-hmm. JLR. Mm-hmm. JLR Saturday, I think it was. Searching, you know. Mm-hmm. And that man called in and said, well, get in the woods. Well, you get your damn boots on and get in the woods. That's what they need to do. Mm. Oh, yeah. JLR doesn't search. JLR films people searching. That's all JLR does, just to be factual. You talk about the guy that called in, was talking about uh, JLR out there? JLR. Mm-hmm. Yeah, talking about he ain't getting in the woods. Well, get your damn boots on and get in the woods, fella. Oh, my God. Mm. Here we go with the sound board. Let him know. I mean, but, you know. I pray to that little boy. I take that little boy in a minute. He can live with me. Your sweetheart. I feel so sorry for all these kids. And I heard today, it's the next county up from us. A darn school teacher, they went to school and arrested her and her husband both for abusing and sexual assaulting a little eight-year-old girl. That is pathetic. Disgusting is what it is. I don't believe the little boy made it home. Mm-mm-mm. But I don't know. But I pray for that child every day and his daddy. Mm-mm-mm. This is something I have a hard time with. So they play, they pray for Sebastian and Seth. But what about Katie and Chris? Again, innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. This is the United States. I didn't think we drug people out into public squares anymore. And that woman was talking about... She was reading because she's going to school and work. work. She ain't reading and working. She's down there in Mississippi. Yeah. I mean, uh, right over there at the Yogi Bear campground, they're saying out here. That's just what they're talking about. I like about. to bust her her damn mouth. That's what I I'd like to do. to determine that was a lie. All right. So she just said she would like to bust Katie in the mouth. Yeah. And what they need to do, with that crew is proud for the whatever his name is. Hang him from that crane he operates by his nuts. And by God, he'd tell what he did. And hang Chris by his nuts from the crane he operates. This is the context of the clip I played in the beginning. We're going to continue now. I know this is tough, y'all, because this is a missing child and the parents of a missing child, they don't seem to care. I don't mean to be ugly, but I am so darn disgusted. That child needs to be found. Damn. Good. That is pathetic. That little boy... She's he like, needs to she, be found. She said, hang him by his what? Who? What? Goodness. Lord. Hang him by his nuts on that crane. He, he'll tell what he done. Goodness. I've been trying to call you for two weeks. I love your show and I watch you every day and night. Uh, I love you. You, yeah. But, yeah. It sounds like you're raw. <laughs> you got some raw thoughts going on there. Hang him by the joint from the crane. Goodness, Lord. Yeah, but that it's been too many days. And if that, I believe if that child would have took that garbage out, yeah. I don't know how they entered that garbage, but up here, the people never touch the garbage can. They just slide something under and it dumps it in the truck. How come they... Just so we are clear, so everybody is aware, all of the sounds that you are hearing are not from me. I am not interjecting any type of sounds, anything like that. That is all his soundboard that he is using throughout this whole entire thing, because I do throw in clips and stuff, but I usually warn you when it's mine. You get no DNA off the trash can if the child took the trash to the road. Mm-mm-mm. Damn, boy. But I love watching your show, but I've been trying to call for two weeks. I'm so darn upset. I'm so I'm glad you got that child in a minute. I'm so glad you got there. You know how many you know how many people were been saying that? Did I take that child in a minute? You know, there's so many wonderful people out there like you. 
I will take him in a minute. Mm-mm-mm. I'll take any of them that's missing. Them people don't want them. My God, send them to me, people of Mississippi. Nah, I'm on my way. I'm missing. Okay, T Rev. I love way. you. I appreciate it. And, and we're not going to give up. No. Nope. It, it's all going to come to a head one day. You're damn right it is. And you know what? So making threats against the parents is going to make that happen sooner? They say all darkness comes to light. Damn sure. That's exactly right. They're going to reap what they sow. Yeah, no. That... I just wish I could hit that damn woman upside her face. Mm. I believe he, that woman is scared of that fellow. This is sad. But I don't know. That, that makes only two low damn damn folks. Dimple Duck. Uh, if it's from Slimy's World, I've heard that one. We will get into that too. Is that the one you're talking about that Ziggy's running around starting? <coughs> in the world, they they people like that everywhere. Mm-mm-mm. But we're gonna keep praying for the little Sebastian because we're gonna find out one day what happened to him. You're damn right, we will. And you do a good job, and JLR does a good job. But that's- yeah, you do wonderful exploiting these cases. Amazing jobs. Hallelujah. Amen. Man, made me so damn mad talking about JLR. He ain't going in the woods. Ma'am, if you don't understand who JLR is and you're still out here singing his praises, you might want to check into a little bit more because he ain't no fucking hero. Well, get your damn boots on and get in the woods, fella. Right? Walk That's down just the way I that see it. Get in that creek, walk in the woods. I hear you. I mean, he did say he was military. I don't know why people would call it to hate on somebody else, like, who's reporting out here. I highly doubt they'll do anything, Thor. It seems like they're profiting so much off of this. People have been reporting these streams for misinformation, and nothing seems to happen. I, I don't know the answer. There's, It's against terms of service. Misinformation is against terms of service, but it doesn't seem to do anything. You're giving visuals. I mean, I don't I, I don't get it, but I mean I understand I some people saying, but it's I don't understand time. Chris and Katie, but I'm concerned about Sebastian. That is his precious child. Absolutely. Right. Pika. Right. And there's one thing days? about it. God's gonna take care of his own. Forty three days. I don't know if somebody's got him or they killed him or what, but if he's no longer with us, he's looking down at some stupid ass folk because he's up in heaven with the Lord. I'm sorry. We're we're in forty four days right now. That it don't make sense to me. It really don't. 44. 44 days right now. But I love your show, and we're gonna keep praying for that little fella. And if don't nobody want him, I'll take him. That's so fucking weird. I I don't like that when people say that. A lot of us have the hearts to care for kids, but that's fucking weird. You heard it from her here. So you won't what? have to worry about nothing. I will take care of that child. Yeah, it is. I cannot stand to see a child mistreated. I cannot stand it. But we didn't see that. We have not seen that. We've heard potential this and that. But we we don't know that's anything. She said it and it's not right. I'll take them. I need to. One time pop on the butt with the belt. Let's be realistic here. There's kids that are still in their homes with their parents that have gone through way worse. And CPS has been involved in those. Like, this is just, they have turned something into a major event. Hopefully he learned his lesson and never did that again. That's my hope. But I just, these perfect parents are blowing my mind. Drink her water. Somebody said in chat. I need to drink her water. <laughs> yeah, preach All right, it. T-Rev, good night. God bless you. And Thank keep you for putting his name out there, baby. Absolutely. God bless you. Thank you for the wonderful words on here. Hang him from a crane. Hang him from a what? Say one Hang more him thing. on that crane. He operates from his nuts. That's what you do. Oh my! He'll tell God. what he did. Hmm. I don't know nothing. I about shouldn't that. say that on on there, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. It's your it. thoughts, but at the end of the day, you know, with nobody's charged of anything. But I get what you're saying. God, slick, slick. But you had to repeat it again, right? You are grimy. Thank you for your wonderful words. Then you get her to repeat her threats. And then you can say that your hands are clean because it was just a caller, right? You grimy little. 
bastard. Bless you, ma'am. I hope you have a beautiful night. Thank you so much for using your voice here tonight for Sebastian Wayne Drake Rogers. Day 44 now. He's been missing. Thank you so much. I don't want to know. A good phone call from her. 219-85-96-93 as we continue to take phone calls as we cover the case of Sebastian and Drake Rogers. Wow. He's turned this into a whole freaking Jerry Springer show with soundboard and all. Saying a, saying a sack on a crane. Not too much you can say to that, but a bing bong. That's all I can say. 727 sent from heaven. What's going on? You're live. I don't know. 727, you're in the building. How are you doing tonight? Hi, T Rob. How are you doing? I'm all right. How are you doing? You know, um, just got off the phone with you know, Granny was in the building for a minute. She had some things. That was to say. great. That was fantastic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Some things that was what say, we all, you know, but yeah, she sure did. <laughs> she repeated it too. You're like, hang him by the what? And she's like, <laughs> that's mm-hmm. right. <laughs> yeah, I was like, whoa. Um, it, she was, yeah. I think that's what we're all feeling. <laughs> Um, yeah, hopefully, I uh, just, hopefully that doesn't happen. What, what's on your mind here? Talk to us yeah. tonight. I just, uh, I just like had a thought. It's nothing huge, but um, last night I was watching the Smiley interview. With- Swindig, there's a possibility of that. You're entitled to that belief, but there's no evidence to provide that that's factual. We don't know. Um, I know, like old school parenting. I had so many wooden spoons broken over my butt and my mom was not abusive, like in that facet. That was a different generation. And he is old school military, not giving excuses, but just we don't know enough of the information and more CPS was involved so many times. I think if there was more involved, there would have been more involvement on their end until law enforcement states otherwise, or we have a clearer picture. We just don't know the facts of what actually went on behind closed doors. We are seeing such a limited amount of factual information and none of the parents, I'll be honest, there's inconsistencies across the board. It, it, but what's a perfect parent? I mean, again, not excusing that, but. With uh, Chris and Katie for the first time. Mm-hmm. And uh, it just, I couldn't believe Chris laughing. Like he's having a nice little chit chat. Mm-hmm. And then. Katie, to me, she just seems like she said if she, she thinks if she just plays dumb long enough mm-hmm. and and acts like I don't know, this is what happened. That's all I know. That like she thinks it's all going to go away, or she thought it would. Um, and like I got the impression listening to that, like Chris is a Casey Anthony type, as far as narcissistic qualities, the way they. Um, they think that they're smarter than everybody else and they think that they can fool everybody else and they just expect to be believed. Um, and, uh, the caller earlier, Susan, who said that she doesn't think they're smart enough to cover up a crime for this long, that crossed my mind too. But then I thought, you know what? I think that it's the, like I said, this attitude of his. And that's just what I thought, like the narcissism, the whole, the Casey Anthony thing, like the nonsense that she spewed. Now they have determined that Seth's a narcissist, or Chris is a narcissist. This guy and this whole story reminds me of the same kind of like, do you think we're all this dumb? Mm -hmm. You think like he, there's no footage of him, of the boy anywhere. There's no sense. Yeah, no, and the footage that they like, claim is him, it's like Seth told us straight up. It's it's 600 yards away. It's grainy. He can't tell if that's his son or not. Mm-hmm. The only footage that he could tell yeah. was him was the Texas Roadhouse footage. And they and now tonight he was talking about he hit, you know, TBI up to make sure those clothes were accounted for. Yeah. Oh, my God. And Seth is just making it worse by going on these shows every night. Yeah. And it's like, and they just, and I... I don't know. I just kind of wonder if they originally thought like, well, for one thing, they didn't expect it. I think Krista, we didn't think it would blow up like this. Mm-hmm. I think he said that. Um, and then they thought, like I said, that they were just going to play their dumb little game and that it would blow over. Cause it's just astonishing to me the way he acts, the way they both act. It's just, I- I'm like, 
I, my mind is blown by it. But um, and then I'm also wondering about the human trafficking right thing. Yeah, is there is there any of that involved? I know, I want, because it's, I mean, a lot of people don't realize it, it's widespread in this country. It's, I mean, I just found out like, I found out like 10 years ago that it's huge where I live. I live in a big tourist area. That's why it's important for people to understand when you're talking about trafficking, it needs to be done in a very factual light because movies like The Sound of Fraud, AKA The Sound of Freedom, put it in such a different light that's not factual and most times in America, it's people that they're close to, a loved one, a coach, a pastor, a youth pastor, school teacher. It's people like that that people don't even think about. And movies like The Sound of Freedom, that's why I'm so passionate about it, give off the wrong perception of what trafficking actually is. Um, so, yeah, I wonder, I, I mean, I don't, it's just so strange, all these these kids go missing and but again law enforcement will track down every lead possible in tennessee anyway i wonder if that could be a factor but um yeah that was basically it. those were just my thoughts but as far as chris i was just astonished by that he's joking he's laughing with smiley and i'm like this i don't even think <laughs> Do you think that this is going to fool? This is not the way a person acts. <laughs> it's just, just not. Sure it it, this, it, it, like, it's not even a way to, uh, like, you're not fooling anybody. Like, do you, and like the caller earlier said, they're not smart enough to pull that off. And then, like I said, I thought, well, maybe he's just so dang narcissistic. He thinks he can. And I don't know what the heck Katie is doing. She, to me, is just, the, way, like the fact that Seth said um, basically she doesn't watch her kid, she just strikes me as somebody who's totally irresponsible. I mean, I, I don't know if she's totally irresponsible, but she's irresponsible. And then she's drawn to this guy who's super controlling. So, you know, that makes a good pair. He wants to control everything, and she just wants to do whatever the heck she's doing. What? What? Those are my thoughts. <laughs> so that's pretty much it. You're good. It's wild. That's all I do know. And people like this, in my opinion, again, this is my opinion, take it for what it's worth, but I think they do these call-in shows, like Dolly does these call-in shows too. And somebody, I was watching him earlier because he's extremely problematic in this arena too, another one that is absolutely exploiting it beyond belief. You can't, you can't miss what that is. But he had a caller call in earlier and said that they think that Nina kidnapped Sebastian is holding Sebastian with her that was what this caller said not even joking and that nina was doing it so then you know sebastian is missing who is going to give the little girl to chris because who's going to give a little kid to the parents that lost one and i'm like where the f and he, you know instead of shutting it down and being like no that's no we're not going there that's no he just Oh, well, it could be. I never thought about that. No, no, no. And just kept on. She, what? And I, but the host of these shows gets to say, I didn't say it. I didn't condone it. Wasn't me. They still profit off of it and still continue to spread misinformation. That's why I think they do it. I also, I really. Oh, one more thing. Sorry. Guess who else is thinking about doing shows like this? Brittany J. I think that, um. Yeah, somebody else up there, I see said, they said Casey Anthony. I swear it reminds me of the same type of uh, personality. Right, Trey? Um, but I think law enforcement knows more than they're telling us. I really do. It doesn't give you laundry not. vibes? I don't know. I don't, because I didn't pay that much attention to that. So I don't know. It could be. Could be. I've just seen a that, lot of people with I, laundry vibes on this one, and I've seen them talking about it like, oh, it's kind of giving me this laundry vibes because the way they're going out and camping, and it's like weird. Like, huh? Oh, you mean Chris and did you? I thought you meant the police. Was, mm -mm. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, it's been pretty. What do you mean as far as these two, as far as Chris and Katie being guilty or suspicious? I definitely think they're for sure hmm. guilty or suspicious. 
Um, you mean, were you talking about, I don't, are you talking about the Petito, Gabby Petito? Yes, yes. The, a lot of people are saying this case gave them laundry vibes. I've just seen tons of different things sprinkled in as far as speculation. All different types of cases being compared to this. Madeline Soto. Yeah. I could keep going. It's it's just wow. Like, I mean, yeah. 40, day 44 yeah, now, and we don't, I mean, there's nothing to really go off of. You hear these possible sightings, and now we found out. We haven't heard of any possible sightings. There's been no nothing from law enforcement that there's been possible sightings that's your misinformation t-rex sit there sit fucking all the way in your shit that you've been putting out here that is pure speculation and wrong information once again that is all you you slimy little mm. now, one of those possible sightings tonight are definitely <laughs> not him that speedway on the 26th that was reported on march 26th confirmed not to be him um, more information that JLR gave off that they all ran with. It's insane. It is nuts that there is no, there's nothing. There's no clue. It's mm -hmm. just insane. This is yeah, but the Gabby Petito one, I didn't pay that much attention. It's just, this, I don't know. I was in a place where it was too disturbing to me at the time, and I didn't want to, mm -hmm. and I don't live far from the area, so I didn't really want to. <laughs> I was like, no, I can't do this right now. But, um. Not yeah, I'm, I'm sure it's just, I was just talking about Casey Anthony just because um, Chris joking around and acting, talking reminded me of the way she was acting back when, uh, like, right. when her daughter was dead and she did it. I don't know. I just, it's, just, it's just, I don't understand how people can act the way they're acting and with this, your child missing. We can't understand how all of you can act the way you're acting over a missing child either. And another thing is, like, I, I was thinking, um, the lady I worked for a long time ago, she had a psychology and education degree or something. And we were talking about a person, and I'm like, I just don't understand where he's coming, him and his family, what they're doing, why, why they're doing what they're doing. Mm -hmm. And she goes, Kelly, you never will because you don't think like them. Mm -hmm. And it's so true, like, they say, you know, if you're a police officer, you have to think like a criminal. Like, we can't think like, we're never going to understand how these people are thinking. Because, and even if we do understand, we still won't understand. Right. So that's... He's, uh, not, e he's not even paying attention to what's going on. That's tough part. Mm -hmm. Trying mm. to make sense of mm -hmm. how are they, how, why are they acting like this? Why would they do this? Right. It's uh, mind-boggling. No. I have to check it. What's it, what are the people are saying? I need to listen to the full sheriff call from that night. Where's this full sheriff call? We'll be talking. I didn't about. hear it. God. Yeah, somebody said full yeah. sheriff call, and I'm trying to <sighs> figure out what they mean. Somebody said, oh, "Okay, I'm gonna try to send here. If you get nothing, look at your messenger. I sent a video of woods, but around the park." Okay, so cool. Nancy sent in a video of the woods around the Yogi Bear Park. Interesting. Nancy Drew. He's been having a lady that's been sending in videos when she drives by stalking Chris and Katie. And that's exactly what it is. Stalking them, following them, surveilling them. Nancy Drew out there on the case. <laughs> you know, I want to say too, before I, it ends that um, you've been talking about your journey with the Lord. And I'm just so happy to hear that. And I can tell, I started listening to you during the Idaho 4 case, mm -hmm. and I can... All right, his journey with the Lord, hallelujah, we're about to get into my favorite part of these grifters, Traj Evangelist in the house. T-Rev, are you, why don't you just start you a church, a 501c3, like Ch Tyler Feller, choo-choo, the super chat train to hell. Why don't you do that? You're such a grimy little grifter. See it and tell um, the... The change and it's it's really beautiful i'm really happy to hear that thank you i appreciate that i mean you know, as a channel I'm, I'm gonna grow with the channel as it grows so you know right you know i can just see you know you can see like in aka if you want me to turn on that i'm a fake christian and use the lord to exploit these tragedies i'll do that wherever you guys want me to go i will do whatever it takes you want me to be a rapper i'll do that too whatever it means 
okay, I'll grow with the channel. Not, he's not concerned about his personal growth. He's growing with this channel because it's all about those clicks and views and exploiting these strategies. And people, you know, just like their energy or whatever. That's, That's what it's about. The energy. Yeah. That's how and this is no disrespect to anybody's religious beliefs in the chat. You are free to believe whatever you want. Your relationship, who you believe in, is a personal relationship for each and all. I 100% take full accountability that I have religious trauma and this shit gets under my skin like nothing other. But when you exploit tragedies like this and then you hide behind the word of God, there's a special place in hell for you. And that's on fact. That's how I am. I read people's energy. That's, and I'll that's sit me by. all day long. So I know what you mean. Yeah. Kick you in the yeah. shins. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that's, well, that was just... Now I appreciate you calling in. Hold on. Let me see what she's showing me here. She's showing me like these woods. The woods near the campground. Well, that's pretty hmm, interesting. Well, thank well, you. With Landry, well, so they were. Can I just give a shout out to my mods? Y'all kick ass. And honestly, they never even, they don't get told I'm going live. A lot of them mod for other people. Like, you guys are just badass. Thank you so much for everything you do. They're off on a trip and they went camping oh, yeah. together, right? Because mm -hmm. I'm just reading no camping is so they can talk. Scared the homeless bug. Oh. Nancy Drew on the case out there. No. Oh. The laundry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. <laughs> well, I appreciate you calling in. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for being a voice here tonight for Sebastian Wayne Drake Rogers as we continue to cover this story around the clock. Again, a body was found, but they're saying it was a male. Reports are coming in that this was a male out here in, in Kingsport, I believe it is. Let's look again. Kingsport. Yep. Kingsport, which is. AKA, he knows that this has nothing to do with it, but he's going to continue to go on this. All the way. I mapped it out from. Hendersonville to Johnson City, or, or King, or I'm sorry, Hendersonville, yep, to Kingsport and Johnson City, and that is four hours and 27 minutes, 290 miles. Yogi Bear Campground is 241 miles away from here, so I don't know. I, I highly doubt this is. A, there is reports of this being a male, but again, we'll see what comes out. Thank you, man, for calling, and I appreciate you. Lock Thank your you. doors. God and bless. Vigilant. God bless you, too. The phone call from her, 219-85-9693. Again, I don't think this has anything to do with the body, but I do want to put out there also that the tip at the speedway and it's important people need to know it again the tip at the speedway the possible sighting of sebastian wayne drake rogers has been confirmed tonight to not be sebastian wayne drake rogers so i want to get that out also 936 you're in the mix talk. maybe you should stop using that as clickbait talk to me hello yes ma'am you were live on air how are you doing tonight i'm good uh, my name is brenda and i'm from texas shout out to you from texas in the building dallas or what what are we talking about well, I am um, actually in Trinity near Huntsville. Wow. Okay. I don't, I don't know where that's um, at, but it sounds great. <laughs> well, Huntsville is the um, prison capital oh of Texas. Mm -hmm. um, Huntsville is also the home of um, the um, death house, lethal injection. Interesting. So I'm about 40 miles from there. 40 miles. But oh, interesting. About 40 miles, yes. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm um, in between Houston and Dallas. Mm -hmm. Okay. My theory is, and I'm probably going to get some crap from, from chat, but I'm thinking that he was so tired of all the abuse, either mentally, physically, whatever, mm -hmm. and that he just had to get out of there and he tried to go to his father's house, possibly got lost. Mm -hmm. At least that's what I think. And the parent, the, um, the mom and the stepdad, they just, when Sebastian is found, he just needs to go to his dad. Mm -hmm. No questions asked. Mm -hmm. But that's all I have to say. And thank you for taking my call. You're more than welcome. So you, and, hold on, um, you said you think he needs to go to where? He needs to go to his dad. So. Yeah, they just get up there and speak whatever they want. He just needs to, he's not found. They don't know what happened to him, but he just needs to go to his dad's. No questions asked. None. No questions asked. What? When when Sebastian is found, he right. needs to go to his dad. That's what I thought not, he said. I just wanted to make sure that's. <clears throat> he's not, beat him. Yes. And not not back to his mother and I'm not even calling him a stepdad, but. Um, well, I'm sure if he's right. being hidden, right? Let's say he's being moved around from place to place. I'm sure, he, I'm pretty sure he'd be going back with him more than likely. Well, I, I would think that as well, mm -hmm. but I just, I pray and pray and pray and pray that he is found 
no matter what the outcome is. So Seth can have some closure and the, the mother and the stepdad need to be charged accordingly. Charged with what? Charged accordingly with what? Charged accordingly with what? Yeah, that, can... so that, that is my thought. And I love you guys. Y'all are so wonderful. And thank you for taking my call. What? Absolutely. God bless you, ma'am. I hope you have a beautiful night. You. Stay vigilant. You too. Lock your doors. I... Another, a good phone call. But hold on, let me read some comments real quick. Let's let's jump into the comments. Yeah, let's Because I see Coupon comments. Mama saying, where what are y'all thoughts on the sighting at the gas station? Do y'all think it was him and Chris's truck? And if so, was Chris or Katie driving it? But let me go ahead and tell you this. That's been debunked. Tonight, that was debunked by Seth on the Pascal show. His team checked into that. From what I heard, got the video footage. And it was not Sebastian Wayne Drake Rogers. So I do want to put that out there to you. I mentioned it on the show multiple times, but seeing this comment, I wanted to let you know that immediately. To but he's going to continue to clickbait everybody with those titles. I think it's important that you know that. You said, do that. Did they ever confirm that the glasses that they were found? No, see, they, those weren't his glasses either, by the way. No, they weren't, but they continue to put out misinformation. According to law enforcement, and I have that receipt on my computer somewhere, but it was definitely shown on this show multiple times and multiple other lives. Those glasses were not Sebastian's. Well, thank you for asking, Fuzzball Factory. Sherry says anybody can say what they want, but the mother definitely knows. Hmm. Yes, caller, we call them narcissists and <laughs> leotards and liars and bad actors. Shout out to you, I call bullshit. Diane says, I've watched a zillion horror movies, and there's a lot of ways to dispose of a body or to dispose of a body fast. Chris did not have time to bury him. Hmm. A little differently when it's the Holy Spirit, Creole lady says. <sighs> you know what? Speaking of the Holy Spirit, we need to go ahead and jump into a little segment of the Holy Spirit and say, Oh, oh, everybody, grab your holy water. We about to go to fucking church. Amen. Praise Jesus. Lord bless us all because I'm fucking done. Our nightly prayer, ladies and gentlemen. And this is a prayer for Sebastian Rogers and everybody involved with the search. Again, Lord, today we lift up in prayer. A precious young soul, Sebastian Rogers, a 15 year old boy who has gone missing. In his vulnerability, we ask for your protective hand to be upon him, Lord, guiding him safely through each moment until he's found. Sebastian, with the challenges he faces in the communication and understanding the world around him, needs your strength more than ever, Lord. May your angels guard him, Lord, and keep him from harm and provide him with comfort and a sense of security no matter where he is. We pray for the eyes and ears of all those searching for Sebastian. Why'd you turn your camera off? Are you reading some sort of script that somebody wrote for you, you fool? Lord, grant them wisdom, insight, and perseverance as they navigate this difficult time. Lord, may every effort to find him be guided by your light, ensuring that no stone is left unturned and every clue leads closer to bringing Sebastian home, Lord. Embrace Sebastian's family and loved ones with your love and comfort. And in this time of uncertainty, Lord, and fear, provide them with hope, strength, and the peace that surpasses all understanding. Lord, may they feel the support of their community and the warmth of your unwavering presence. Lord, continue to inspire us all as a community and individuals to offer whatever help we possibly can, whether it's sharing an article, whether it's liking a live stream, whether it's commenting on a video. Whether it's mother effing like in a live stream. Next time you go to church, ask your pastors if they pray for likes on fucking YouTube. Amen. Praise baby Jesus. We need those likes on YouTube. What? Y'all, this is disgusting in every sense of the word. And again, this is not anything against you or your religious beliefs. This is blasphemy. Complete and utter disgusting. This is why I have an issue with people who use faith manipulation. This right here. Whether it's sharing his flyer. Again, keep inspiring us all as a community to keep doing this. And whether it be through action, words of support, or continued prayers, let us come together to aid in the search for Sebastian and support those who love him. God, this is gross. Lord, we trust in your mercy, in your miraculous ways. Please watch over. Sebastian Rogers, guide him back safely and bring solace 
to those who await his return with anxious hearts. In the name of that son, Jesus Christ. Amen. And then he follows it up with claps from his soundboard. Thank you, B10. What? Yeah, Natalie, I'm with you. This is, you want to see, thank you, Savage. You want to see me, like, you want to see me set off, keep doing this shit. This shit right here is the, the utter most disrespect to actual faithful Christians who are good people. This is so disgusting to use a missing child praying for likes on fucking YouTube people praying for fucking likes on YouTube. Woo. Woo. All right. Shall we proceed? Yeah, go ahead. Just had to get that out real quick. A little prayer. We usually do a prayer every Oh, it was just coming from his soul. He just was erupting with the holy fire and the holy spirit. Amen. Praise Jesus. Fucking, you going to fall on the floor and speak in tongues next? Jesus. Live, you know? We do a prayer every live. 413, you want me to talk to me? Oh, Trev. You got through. What's going on? Oh, man, man. I've been on here. And, <laughs> well, I guess through Kylie Rodney. Mm -hmm. Summer. I'll she is all yours. All your savage. That stuff. Mm -hmm. I, I have a question. Um, I have a lot of questions, actually. When when did Mr. Well, I guess we're calling him that, right? Mr. Chris got rid of the snakes. Mm -hmm. That was the that was the. Oh my God! This caller, I forgot about her punishment, right? Mm, I forget exactly oh. about, about the whole snake part, but I do remember some of that being talked about. Yes, thirty-eight snakes, by the way. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Trish, I watched uh, it. I was watching it with you. Yeah. No, well, you keep going. Does Sebastian understand where those snakes come from? Ponds, lakes, okay. streams, all mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. What he was taught to, he was taught to learn where those things come from, right? Didn't you hear from CJ? There's cobras in the bushes in Tennessee. Like there's cobras out there, so of course they come from the ponds, right? Because CJ said it. It has to be factual. Cobras. He was worried about cobras. He was risking his life because there's lions and tigers and bears and cobras a lie. Mm -hmm. And what they eat and where they come from and where they go to. <sighs> Just imagine if that was a punishment for him because he didn't do something right. What would, I mean, as far as, far as a, ch a child with like autism, right? Mm -hmm. Just, they just want that, like, uh, I don't know, flawless or like the, the feel good thing back. Where would you go? Yeah. You would, you would go and look for that, right? Correct. 38 snakes later. Correct. Is that interesting? Um, the only other thing, um, I emailed a lot of this to you. Mm -hmm. Uh, the other thing that I have to say, I don't know why this is a thing. Uh, there, there's a river that runs along um, that family home and the whole entire town. It's right. called Snake River. It's also uh, Drake Pond, by the way. Mm. Drake Pond. Mm -hmm. Drake Lake. Drake Pond. Interesting. Um, hmm. Would he think that if he's like the Drake guy with the snake? Yeah. You know, the Drake snake guy, right? Right. The Drake snake guy? What the fuck acid did you take? Um, go. Are you sharing? To Google Maps. Oh, my God. I don't know why this matters. Yeah, um, this is bothering me for the most part. So look up look up the Drake Lake. And, and the only water source, it looks like a, uh, God, what is it? So it looks like a, uh, oh, my God. Uh, um some look at the comment he pinned you guys look at the comment he pinned butter butter is the account name that changed their face to sebastian's so now we got trolls oh my god why am i not surprised why am i not shocked hold on bear with me please because i've been doing this for a while it, it looks like a sorcerer um a reptilian reptilian by the way so if you if you go back to like oh god we all need tinfoil hats now we got reptilians out here uh, oh man go back to what Chris is talking about mm -hmm. you know he was a he was a collector of reptilians hmm. you remember that uh, he liked yeah. <laughs> yeah I hate snakes I can't do it 
Yeah. Right. I can't do the snake um, thing. I'm sorry. Sebastian's, well, Sebastian's more man than me. He could do snakes yeah. and I can't. Well, just remember when Chris said this, he's a collector of reptilians. He likes reptilians. He bought, he bought Sebastian a snake. snake. It, it's all around his arm. Look it up. It's all around his arm. He got rid of that. My biggest question is, when did he get rid of that? Did um, oh, did Sebastian go looking for the the snake that um, Chris got rid of because he fucked? Whoa, sorry, I'm not trying to like f word. Yeah, I mean this it's, is an adult show. We, this, yeah. Ma'am, I think you need you got lost going and looking for something called your brain, and it never came back because either you're on some real good shit and having hallucinations or something because you need to reel it back in. You know. Yeah, sorry. I get it though. I get it though. You know I, mean, I, I, I let people speak as as they speak. If you curse every now and then, oh well. well. Yeah, sorry, my bad. But okay. just think about this. Tripping. Was he looking for the snakes that he was? Uh, what was hey, listen, taken away from him? You gotta apologize to me for you being yourself. Right. No problem. You're good. I, I don't. Some people may care about on their platform, but I don't really give a shit. About yeah, platform. no problem. But just just think about this. What was Sebastian looking for? The snakes that were taken away from him. Better question. You know. That's a good question. Thirty-eight. 38. That's a good question. 38. Mm -mm. Um, might that be the reason why they're looking in ponds, right? Streams and such. Mm -mm -mm. Somebody keeps talking. You know? about yeah. Where's this footage? Jamal, can you uh, send it in to me and we'll play it? You said, listen yeah. to the 911 call. They they asked footprints right to the retaining pond. This is horrible. Please listen now. If they searched the waterways. They've been searching. We watched that. Yeah, why is it everything about feet? I keep hearing about we got this, outfit, this we got uh, footless, and we got sockless. What's mm -hmm. this, dude? Come on, in. I don't know. It's it's just a thing. Many questions I have, you know. But yeah, ma'am, we've got questions about your stability at this point. The snakes. Could it be possible this kid? Oh my god! And that made me so sad when I thought about that. Could this kid be looking for snakes that were taken away from him? Mm. Wouldn't that be crazy? I hope not. But yeah. Why now, though? Why? Why would that make any sense? They've been gone for quite some time. You know, there's, also, there's a lake called Drake. Do you think there's a Drake snake? A, a, a snake Drake? Snake Drake? I don't know. I don't know how you like put it. Um, right? Hmm. Snake Drake. His own. Right. There's a snake Drake. Hmm. What's a I don't know. what's a snake it's Drake? A pond. It looks like a. It. I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt and think that she looked at the eclipse too long yesterday and something happened because this isn't normal thinking. Looks like a, a dragon. It's all around the house. Oh, okay. Look, Google it, dude. A snake it drake. looks like a dragon. It's a drake snake. Yeah. A drake snake. I don't know, y'all. Okay. Drake Lake, Drake so, Lake, Drake Pond. As, as soon as I looked it up, it's showing me Drake with a snake. Yeah, look it up. It looks like a it looks like no, a, I mean, like Drake, the, the singer rapper, serpent. It's showing and me it's Drake the snake. Heart. Look it up, too. It, you know, it drags up to uh, his hometown, too. Oh my god, here we go on another crazy conspiracy. I don't know if you saw that. The longest arm on that, uh, what is it? So, the, the Drake, let me show you what a Drake snake, snake showing me. This is what it's showing me right here. Oh, right. Shit, bro. Showing, I, you said search Drake snake, and when we I, search Drake I, snake, this is what we come across. Yeah, so I'm, I'm a little confused here. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, the longest arm goes up to the parents' house. But yeah, clearly you should yeah. see that, no? No, nah, it, it's weird. Send me what you're talking about with the Drake thing <laughs> in the email. I'll check it out. I appreciate right. you. Send it don't to me. Don't forget about that Drake yeah. snake Sabato. Well, send it to um, me an email so we can actually river. look at the right Drake snake because I don't I don't it's know what's weird. Right? It's weird. God bless you. I appreciate you calling in. Make sure you lock your doors and stay vigilant. I don't know what she's talking about with this Drake snake, but when I looked up Drake snake, it showed me Drake with a snake. Yeah, thing with rapper. Oh yeah, my bad. I, I know what I need to do. Hold on one second. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Caller. 940, you're on the show. Talk to me. Am I live? Yes, ma'am. You are live. How you doing? Okay. Uh, this is Janet from Texas. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry to my Texas friends. These Texans aren't making you guys look very good. And I was calling about uh, the Sebastian case. Mm -hmm. uh, I was thinking that, you know, a lot of people said that they had connections. And uh, I don't believe that they would have connections like 
paying off the law enforcement mm-hmm. or anything like that. But they did say that Chris's mom was mm-hmm. with Kate at the house that morning. Right. And I thought they might know that family uh, very well and think, well, we know them. And, you know, you know how it is when you're in a community and you know of somebody and you just kind of take their word for stuff, you know, unless it, unless it proves to be wrong, mm-hmm. <laughs> something different. Anyway, that's the only thing that I had on that. But I was thinking about the problem. Uh, a lot of people said, well, if Seth did get him, what would they care? Because, you know, um, I-, I think the reason would be plenty of probable cause. Because Nina said that in her interview that, uh, remember she said they had a court date that was coming up? Mm-hmm. And then all that happened was Sebastian going missing. And their court case was put off. And she mentioned that Chris and Katie were trying to prove that she was mentally incompetent hmm. and was wanting her to take go to a doctor and have a test done and was trying to, uh, you know, say that she wasn't fit to have that little girl. So they were wanting that little girl, hmm. apparently, and trying to get her. So, okay, and? So that was because of now that Seth has... Uh, said some more information about poor little Sebastian, you know, his past and all. They probably really bear, you know, bear down on that idea. What I think. So that they could have that daughter live there. But I tell you what, Seth is a, he is a saint in my eyes. I have a... Seth is a saint in her eyes. No, you've heard this a lot from people, but I do have a autistic grandson and he's like 23 years old now but my son raised him ever since he was little because he had a pos mom so my son got him when he was little he's raised him all these years Mm -hmm. and i tell you what it they are precious children my grandson i've got 10 grandchildren and he's my favorite i tell them all (laughs) but he uh they they are precious children but they but you really have to uh change your life Mm -hmm. I'll just put it that way. It's in a good way, though, because we all, you know, all of our family, we help and everything. But uh, he's not even listening to what's going on. He's just, "Mm -hmm, mm mm-hmm, mm-hmm, sure, mm -hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Is there a super chat? Mm -hmm, mm Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He is a good person. He's a good person. I can tell that he just, Katie's not acting right. I don't understand why, Mm -hmm. why she doesn't uh, care more about her child. Makes me wonder. People are asking, too. When it comes yeah. to we don't have anything that says she doesn't care about her child. Actually, quite the opposite, in my opinion. Makes me wonder why she kept him all that time. And you know what? The other, the other day I got to I listened to that Nancy Grace uh, interview with Katie and Chris again. Yeah. And the, the second time I listened to it, they would sit there and they were real quiet. And I, I turned I turned it up so I could hear them. They were just real, real quiet and just, you know, answering yes and no and just whenever they had to answer. Uh, but when she asked about, it, it wasn't the retention pond, but it was some building they were talking about. And I can't remember if they said a garage or a shed or something. Hmm. And both times that Nancy Gray mentioned that, like if she was talking to uh, Chris, then Katie made a, uh, you know, clear her throat. Mm-hmm. And she did the same thing when Katie was talking it, talking about it. But then he did something, mm-hmm. and I thought he doesn't. He's not. Correct me if I'm wrong, but he's not paying attention at all. He's like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. they're sure are wanting. They don't want her to go too far into that talking about whatever building was out there. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I just uh, it makes it just hurts my heart for Seth, and I just uh, he's going through it. I, yeah, I just want him to know that he needs to keep. Except he's got, I don't know how many channels Dolly has, but he's got almost, I think, 80,000, 72,000 subs on his main channel. I think Dolly just hit around 40, if I'm correct. And he's got a spirit box channel that's he's been growing to crazy. Like the views that he they both get, absolutely ridiculous. And people are eating it up. I do not understand how these women flock to these men. I I just don't. I can't see it. I don't understand what I'm missing. These are the men that like red flag central. They pay, and uh, no matter what happens, they'll all you know 
they'll always have little Sebastian. He's going through it. Because uh, they are precious children. Uh, and I think about him, I wish that, you know, my grandson, he didn't have a lot of friends either. <laughs> but uh, the ones he had were real close to him. But we have a big family, and, you know, he's had lots of aunts and uncles and cousins. So. But uh, it's the... Uh, I you can just see that his heart is broken. He just, you know, they're just camping, and all he wants is his baby. He just wants his baby. I don't know why they can't help him. No, Sheila, T Rev has a spirit box channel. I, I don't think Dolly does. I don't know all Dolly's channels. I just know his main one. But T Rev has a spirit box channel, and his main channel's got seventy two thousand on it and growing. Get that baby home. I don't know why they can't. Whoever did what. They need to talk. That child did not walk out of that house. They already had them dogs through there. Nobody picked up on his neck. The locks weren't broken. Nobody, no intruder. Nobody came through the windows. Nobody went out the windows. Why are they letting them sit there and say that he just walked out? I don't understand that. It's just like, I just like to get in a room with Katie and slap her. Mm. Another one that wants to slap Katie. Well, I don't slap anybody. I don't, <laughs> golly, shake her or something, you know? Yeah, no doubt. She needs to be, she needs to wake up. She needs to, if she ca care about her child at all, she would have the respect to, to find him or, and bring him home. Mm -hmm. so she's going so. to answer for, she's going to have to answer for that someday. Absolutely. Okay. And, uh, that's going to be on her and her little husband. But uh, they were in that together, and that was planned. Because why else did you take him? Out it was planned. And do all that that day. Mm -hmm. She took him, you know. She why not take your kid out for a day and then dinner? Like, that's pretty typical for a lot of families, that we go out and spend time with our families during the weekend because Saturday and Sunday they don't have school. How is this such a big thing? I don't get why they're making such a oh, it was the last supper kind of thing. Like that's... Just took him to every place that was his favorite place. And stuff. That just irked me when I heard that. What? That she did all that for that little baby and he didn't even know it. That she was going to end up doing that. Do something to him to make him disappear. Yeah, we heard the dispatch calls here. I'm pretty sure we already played them before. Days ago, I thought. Now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, I seen that. Did they have a nine one one? Did they have a nine one one call? I was trying to figure that out. It was a dispatch, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure we heard that here already. Well, he said, that. he said on uh, Nancy Grace that he. Um, I was thinking about that too because I thought I heard a nine one one call at first when that first all came about. Mm -hmm. But then he said that he just went straight. He said, "I told her don't call nine one one because uh, all they'll do is reroute it, and I can just call them." And he said, "You know why?" But cut the middleman out and all this stuff he went through. Mm. And he said, so I just called the sheriff's department. So he had their number. This is ridiculous. Yeah. So he called, the, he called the, the, the sheriff's department. He called the non-emergency line. That is not hard to figure out. And it's there's nothing wrong with it. Like he said, they would have just rerouted it. Okay. No big deal. Nothing jaw dropping there. It's just ridiculous. They, they need to see how stupid they sound and wake up and bring that little boy home. Ma'am, I think you sound stupid. B Tim says the reason why nonsense, why nonsense, they make a big deal out of that is because of the pro and con of human evalu evolution called seeing patterns. People see patterns when they don't even exist at times. That's very true, B Tim. I, I agree with you on that. Thank you so much for that, too. Enough is enough. It's stupid. It is, yeah. I'm with it on that. It's, it's definitely super suspicious, to say the least. Yeah. Everything that has been coming out is super suspicious. You got one side searching and not scared to show yeah. their face. And I'm talking about Seth. And then you got the other side that did show or not show their face, but at least went on an interview. And then after <laughs> that, it's kind of like they backed off. So I feel like they lost every chance that for the public to back them. Yeah. I feel like if they were out there handing out flyers, even if it was separate from Seth, yeah. at least people would be like, man, you know, help, let's help these parents yeah. the way we possibly can. But a lot of exactly. people are pointing the finger the other way just for the simple fact that the way they are being with the public. And, and so because they're not responding to the public, their child is missing and they need to respond to the public in a certain way for support. 
miss me with the bullshit. And I get that everybody's yeah. different. I'm not saying that you got to be all hoorah and high five and all the public people like, yeah, man, thank you. Yeah. You don't have to be that way. But what I'm saying is, is that the fact that people are being combative towards the public and not showing up to these vigils or anything. Um, they had no way that the I'm glad they didn't show up. It's a safety concern at this point in time. You should know that because you have a lady calling into your show nightly, sending you videos of her daily drive-by stalking Chris and Katie at the RV park. What? Thing like mm -hmm. that. It just it's weird to the public eye, to anybody yeah, who's looking yeah. at it. And it's sad for our little Sebastian. And he's just if he's out there wandering around, I, I know he's scared and alone. And I hope he does come home. But if he doesn't, Jeff knows that he, he should know in his heart that him and his son had a bond. Because when they mentioned his name and when he was down one, and I saw him one day and they asked him about how he was feeling. And he, he said, he's my life. And he just lit up. His face just lit up. He just smiled a little bit. And I thought, that's my son exactly. Mm -hmm. My son, when he talks about my grandson, it's their little buddies. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. And they, they, they're special people. He's a special person. I, I hope he hears that. He's a special person. And, 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 and and people think that a lot of us want to see that these two are involved in this case. And it's like, absolutely not. You've already said they were with all of your misinformation. You've allowed people to sit here and say the worst of the worst. You want to see Chris hung by his nuts from a crane. That was all said on your panel. You have pretty much tarred and feathered them. Do not try to backtrack that you don't want to see that because that's exactly what you guys are pushing for. No, absolutely no. not. The last thing that anybody Bullshit. wants in this world is to have parents take the life of Bullshit. a child. That's not what we want. But what right. it is, is this. It's everything that we're seeing. We're seeing these vigils, yeah. these searches. We're seeing this. We're seeing that. We're not seeing yeah. them part of any of they that. They left you with no choice to think, but to think that something went wrong with her. She was the only person in the house. And Come on. 241 miles away from the house where allegedly yeah. he left. Yeah. Didn't so let him, let's just say he came back and knocked on the door yeah. yesterday or the day before. Nobody answered. And and think, where'd mom go? Just Everybody's saying. left me. This is sick me. This is really sick me. This is really bothering me. These people have no brain cells left in them. But it's picked this world. It's getting worse. It is definitely uh, worse. Well, I, th I appreciate you calling in. Thank you for being a voice here for Sebastian Rogers you. here tonight. I need you to do two things before you go to bed. Stay vigilant and lock your doors. God bless you, man. Good phone call from her. And I do have somebody I'm going to call right now. It's a new call pass. Your phone call. I did see it. What's going Would on? That be me? How you doing? That's W. I got. I got a mute. Yeah, hang on. No, you're fine. Take your time. I was busy doing that mock thing. I was, <laughs> I was pretending you. I knew what I was doing. By the way, I appreciate you. Hey, no problem. I've never done the whole um, hashtag whatever to get the thing, the command. Oh wow! I've had to type it all out. So I was like, oh my god, how do I do this? I'll send you some stuff on that. We're almost done. I know this is torture, you guys. I'm sorry. Thank you for bearing with me as we watch this. But the end of this after this call is extremely troublesome. And I'm going to play it because I got called out for misinformation or misrepresenting his music. So I'm going to let you guys listen to the lyrics with closed captioning on so you can see what is actually said because I was right. It's all about him. Okay. And I'm on vacation, <laughs> so you're not going to see much of me for about a week. Okay. So, um, I'm half asleep and drunk. So, um, I have a weird, odd theory. You ready for, like, the off-the-charts theory? Let's hear it. Okay, I don't know if anybody else has said it, because, you know, I'm just out of it. What if the mother, like, was having that three-hour conversation with her husband, mm -hmm. and it was not a very pleasant conversation. It was a heated conversation. Because I've heard rumors she had an affair. I've heard rumors he had an affair. There's no factual proof to back any of that up. I heard rumors they had a very tumultuous, tumultuous relationship. Mm -hmm. So what if it was a really heated one and she's got terrible anxiety? And she took an anxiety pill and then the conversation kept going. And she took another one forgetting she took one. Mm -hmm. Maybe she even poured a glass of wine to go with it. And she literally passed the hell out. Or sleeping pill. I take sleeping pills. So what about, you know, like an Ambien and just knocked her ass out? She has no recollection of what actually happened to him. Like if he went out to get the trash, 
it out, and she actually did shut the door. I went to bed, forgot. Where is he? Yeah. He, he wouldn't he just like hang in front of the door? Wouldn't he beat on the door? Wouldn't he do something? You yeah, I believe. I don't know. This case is bugging me. I've been uh, harassed by a lot of people who have the other viewpoint that the proud feats are so great. It's the Proudfoot, the Proudfoot family. <laughs> They're innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. They're the family members of a missing child. I'm sorry, I just threw up a little bit in my mouth. Um, and they're like, you're out of your mind for thinking that Jeff is the right man. Well, I might be out of my mind, but that's what I believe. You I think Jeff's a, a straight up man. And he's out there hunting, digging. All things can exist. Chris and Katie can be innocent. Seth can be a good dad. All of that could be existing. We don't know. That's why we're all trying to say, until law enforcement says otherwise, we have nothing to condemn any of them at this point in time. Again, looking for his kid. I just can't imagine going in my camper and hiding out. And they can't be that hidden because I've already seen videos of people driving by that thing. So... People have to know where they are. So if you're going to get threats at home, you're going to get threats in your camper. You're supposed to home where your son could return. I'm just saying. He has to continue to work, and there's a safety concern. They're still following them at the campground. There is an absolute safety concern. We've heard threats, multiple threats, in this very live stream from callers calling in that they want to slap Katie, they want to hang Chris by the balls, they wanna do all of this stuff to them. There's safety concerns, major safety concerns. He has to continue to work. The bills don't stop if a missing child goes missing, a child goes missing. That doesn't happen. Mm -mm -mm. It's crazy, the proud feats. I know that that gets me every time, Tipsy. Those are the proud feats. <laughs> so I call them the stink feats, but that's right. The stank feats, the proud feats. The now we're over here calling them the stank feats. Are you joking right now? The mother and the stepfather of a missing child that have not been convicted of a damn thing. And we're calling them the stank feats. Like it's some sort of funny. Someone else called them that earlier too. What's going on with the proud feats? Uh, well, I mean, have you heard the other creators are like oh they're such wonderful parents what? really because i don't pick that up oh yeah there's creators out there saying that there's no way that they're guilty and they're only behaving this way because they don't know what else to do no one's given them any directions so we're just going to go hide and they think they're that she looks like a concerned true to life parent on what planet on this planet, ma'am, on this fucking planet, ma'am, she is given the grace of a mother going through a traumatic incident, okay? In this fucking planet, that she looks like a concerned mom. We have no evidence to provide any factual basis for condemning them for anything. You can have your personal beliefs, but continuing to put it out here, like they're guilty of something and Seth is some hero, when we have no facts to back any of that up and you have the audacity to come into my channel and tell me I was re-victimizing these victims, get the fuck out of here and don't ever, I, I hope I never see you around here again. So yeah, well, I've actually had people like DM me on the backside of Discord and curse me out and threaten me. Really? That's crazy. Mm -hmm. I mean, for mods to get beat up and for what you believe in. When you're encouraging these narratives to be pushed, absolutely. I don't think Again, I've never seen any threats, anything like that. I don't condone that shit for a difference of opinion. But this is the narratives that are being pushed out here. And again, this is about Sebastian. Not once have you talked about Sebastian, have you? You've talked about Chris and Katie and Seth. Not about Sebastian. This was about Sebastian, right? He's the one that's missing. That is, that, um, that's insane. Lord, I'm going to sit on my hands. It's very insane. That's over there. <laughs> Well, I don't think mods should be threatened at all. We're just volunteers. Right. So. Yeah, nobody should be being threatened. That's some BS. Yeah, BS. Really? That's some BS that you just allowed in your fucking chat, T-Rev. 
You allowed multiple people to get on your show and threaten these family members. It's crazy. I've had some crazy shit go down in the last few days. And I was like, you know what? I need a time out. So I took my time out and came back to it tonight. And I'm like, well, if you're going to hate, 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 well, you just hate someone else. Don't hate on me. I don't care. I'm too filled with love. I feel like the you're, truth. You're filled with love. Meanwhile, calling the parents of a missing child stank feet. Miss me with your fake phony fuckery. It will eventually come out. I hope it's in my lifetime, but I think the truth will come out. I, I, I fear the worst that he got locked out of that house and started walking down the street and said, fine, if you don't want me, I'll walk to my dad and then got abducted on the way. Sorry. I said it out loud. Yeah. I would give him reason to be alive, but tortured. You don't need to have all these crazy theories to continue to have hope that he's still alive. What are people doing? People have lost their ever loving fucking minds over this case. Alive but tortured. But I'm wondering because I can tell you right now when I was doing the Madeline Soto stuff, I knew right away she was dead. When I was watching the stuff on, um, oh crap, the kid that just fell in the water in Tennessee. Is it Caleb or is Caleb a different one? What, Caleb Harris? Or you had to talk no, about Riley Caleb. Strain? Riley. Yep, Riley Strain. I knew him. Yeah, I got that. I have like a teller that tells me when shit is bad. I don't have it for this kid. He's alive. I don't know how I know it, but he's alive. God, I hope he is. I do not get the death feelings. It, it's, I know it's weird, but I get them. Now she is a... I was crying the first day I heard about... Um, this is just... Madeline. I said, Madeline oh, Soto? Shit. Yeah. I felt it the first day. That, and I felt, I felt firsthand that that dad was a. That case was heartbreaking. Oh. Still is. This caller, just so you guys know, please in the comment section be kind. But this caller previously told me, because I was saying, sit down, these parents, to everybody, that they have not been charged with anything. We have no information. She told me that I was re victimizing the victim by discussing the fact that we don't have proof or evidence to condemn these people. She told me I was re-victimizing them. Yeah. Salty. And this case is just confusing, but I, I, I don't feel he's dead. I don't understand why, because it feels like at this point he should be, but I could see that mother capturing him and sending him off to a special school that without dad's permission. And he says, well, she can't do that because it's illegal. It still happens all the time, everywhere, every day. Mm -hmm. I would not be surprised if she did not make arrangements to send him to a private place. And now it's she made arrangements to send him to a private place, and he's just agreeing with all of it. Mm -mm -mm. Just saying. No. Just a thought. So I don't know if you think I'm nuts, but. No, I, no, I don't think you're nuts. Everybody's got their own opinions, you know. Something the Madeline ain't Soto case was mad done. crazy, though. I mean, she and they went, they disappeared at the same time. And I thought, damn, this, you know, you had Jennifer So Toast, and then you had Stephen Stearns, and now you have Pika. I'm really sorry, really sorry. KP and CP. Uh mm huh. -hmm. But, you know, Ashton hasn't been found. So. This drives me nuts. Well, okay. Far for a fact. Mm -hmm. What if they both turned their cell phones on to pretend they were on a call? Never took their phones with them. All right, you guys. I got to fast forward because I am I can feel my blood pressure rising. And this isn't going to be good. If you want to watch that, finish that, you can. But we're going to go to the end of his live stream. This is his last call. And I am... I can feel my blood pressure rising on this call because it's just wild speculation throughout this whole stream. And then he ends it on this. Rule out foul play, but there was just no sign of foul play. Is that tricky cop words? Yeah, that's what it sounds like to me. Okay. Let me. Something. Hearing the things that I heard. Check into that Gatlinburg one. 
Well, he can be. Okay. Now, I'm going to. If you already know how we ended, thank you for everybody who came by. I'm going to slow it back down. Oh, shit. CC isn't available. Okay. Here we go. So he seems to be salty. Somebody must be talking about his music or something. I'm not really sure. Do they not think these scenarios through before speak? I, Lauren, I think people, I don't even understand what is going on. This whole thing. Meanwhile, they're threatening the pair. Like he is just allowing all sorts of shit to be spewed out here. Okay. So this is the reason I'm doing this and I'm going to stop it because this is his music. I don't know if it's copyright. I have no clue, but pay attention. As I said, I'm going to pause it. It's annoying, but pay attention to the lyrics of this song, but he is salty because Obviously, other people think his music is terrible, too. I mean, it's exploitation. He's using a vulnerable situation, a missing child as video, like a music video. Kiki, I know you don't like this guy either. By the stream, showing love, showing support, keep Sebastian's name out. But you know how we ended with this gospel. I honestly might go record a song. He's about to, he called his music gospel. This is gospel, friends. On the second channel. Maybe I'll go record one to the album live on the second channel. I don't know. Who would be down for that? Not me. Definitely not me. Not me. No. Please spare us all. I love when Tracy comes in and is in behind because she tells us our first <laughs> All the sacrifices and the sacrifices and sleepless nights. Sleepless nights. I'm doing this for a, a reason. I know it's going to be annoying, but the reason is is because somebody said I misrepresented that this song is not about Trevor or T Rev, whatever his fucking name is. I can't stand it. Um, it's not about T Rev. It's about the missing. Just wait. I swear they serve me well. They serve him well. Only time will tell. You're probably gonna go to hell. I just keep on praying that I'll find my way if I go through hell. I think we're already there. Only time will tell. Only time will tell. Every day I wake up, I'm here to make a change. Every day I wake up, I'm here to make a change. Only time will tell. I hope it takes the pain away. Only time will tell. I hope it takes the pain away. I see these families going through it every single day. I see these families going through it every single day. Now tell me again that how this isn't about T Rev. Another person did an article up on a page. Put a hold on the hope like a candle in the rain. Got it by the light, trying to break through these heavy chains. In the heart of the night, I'm searching for the flames. Oh, yeah, this ain't about him at all, is it? For the silent in the corner, I'm a paper lane. Yeah. In the silent battles, I become the war train. Carry and by the way, he buys his beats too. He admitted to that last night. And this is video of the searches for Sebastian. In the hopes from this long, it went into rain. Through the valleys of silence, the dreams I entertain. In the quiet whispers, my purpose remains the same. His purpose remains the same. Wait, I thought it was about victims. Seems like a very self serving song. Sacrifice. He's made so many sacrifices and sleepless nights. Sleepless nights where they serve me well. He's going to hell. Only time will tell. I just keep on praying that I'll find my way if I go through hell. Only time will tell. Meanwhile, again, using a missing child and his father as the music video. Look, only time will tell. We're really feeling like we're living in hell. Let's turn on YouTube and start searching, and you'll see it yourself. But together, we light up the dark. Even mentions YouTube. Yeah. Dennis, you playing a part. Part to heart. We heal, we mend. And this battle will prevail in the end. He's going to prevail in the end. Voices we defend in the silence. Our words transcend with you. The voices they defend. Oh, shit. I forgot this wasn't about him, was it? Fools. People need to realize I don't play their stupid games. Again, this is the person that came in my comment section and said that they said to me because they thought I was funny cracking jokes on CJ. And then they heard me say that T-Bread was a clown. Well, 
There you go. Every note we send a message, deep truths we plant. And every verse holds strength from our spirit within. Let's wake up, start the day, I'm back fighting again. Giving a voice to the people who have nothing to give. He's given a voice to the people who have nothing to give. Oh shit, it's not about him though. They come to me, I let them speak and tell it just like it is. I've been sacrificing all my life, I'll sleep when it is. He's been sacrificing his entire life. I'm sure they've served your pocketbook well. Only time will tell. I just keep on praying that I'll find my way if I go through hell. And here he comes, and you can hear him singing in the background. It's my favorite part. Only time will tell. Only time will tell. Divine spirit of love and light. In this hour of need, God America right. Shine your grace on every child, every soul. Mend our hearts, make our nation whole. Oh, what? Sacrifices and the sleepless nights where they serve me well. One time will tell. I just keep on praying that I'll. For that next YouTube paycheck, cha cha ching ching ching, you're probably going to hell. Find my way if I go through hell. Only time will tell. Only time will tell. Yes, you already know. Amen. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. The next rapper is on the scene. Oh, dropping this summer voice for the voiceless of 2024 i'm telling you i can't wait to drop this this summer voice Good for the gracious voiceless. i'm hyped for this album Vo and yes i got voice for the voiceless the audacity of this little punk voice for the voiceless again please explain to me how that wasn't all a self-serving song about what he sacrifices to bring awareness to these cases that he exploits oh wait here comes another one. Plenty of more songs to record, and I will be recording a couple of those live on the second channel. So come by for exclusive shout outs and watching me be in the zone in a creating way when I talk about tracks like this. Absolutely savage. Yeah, you guys are all saying what I'm thinking. I mean, I write them from start to finish live. If I'm gonna get it done, I'ma do it myself. I don't trust no one. I don't need your help. Where were you when I reached out for you? I need hiding under my bed. That's where I was when you reached out because this is some scary ass shit. Did you and you left me by myself? So if I'm gonna get it done, I'ma do it myself. I don't really give a fuck if you're with me now. No, you're gonna actually have to rely on your subs because they pay your bills. When you and I reached out for you, I needed you, and you left me by myself. I'm gonna need you to open your damn wallets. I was always left alone, sitting in my home, going through depression while I'm crafting all these poems. My mom was doing dope, that's all I ever know. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. Third auto tuned, bodice beats, yeah, nope. Whole full stop, full, full stop. Um, new. Can you even sing, bro? <laughs> Millie Vanilli type of fuckery, right? Savage or not savage, Tracy. I was reading both of you guys at the same time. Oh my god, y'all. This is this is ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, you guys are spot on. All the comments are spot on, anyways. That I, I don't. He needs a sub. What the fuck? What the actual fuck? Let me play this clip for you guys that just came in at the end so you guys can see this. You can't make this shit up, Sheila. Absolutely, you cannot. I'm going to play this clip for you guys before we get out of here. This was a clip during that live stream that I broke down a little bit earlier just because this shows the threats that were being made. So it's only almost two minutes long, and then we will get out of here. 44 days right now. That, it don't make sense, man. It really don't. 44. 44 days right now. But I love your show, and we're going to keep praying for that little fella. And if don't nobody want him, I'll take him. You heard it from her here. You won't have to worry about nothing. I'll take you to that child. God bless I cannot stand to say a child mistreated. I cannot stand it. She said, if and it's not right. I'll take him. 
I need to drink her water. Somebody said in chat, I need to drink her water. <laughs> Yeah, preach. All right, King Rev. Good night. God bless you. And Thank keep you for putting calling your name out there, baby. Absolutely. God bless you. Thank you for the wonderful words on here. Hang him from a crane. Hang him from a what? Say one Hang more him thing. on that crane. He operates from his nuts. That's what you do. Hang him from a crane. Hang him from a what? Say one Hang more thing. Hang him on that crane. He operates from his nuts. That's what you do. Oh my! He'll tell what he did. Mm. I don't know nothing. I about shouldn't that. say that on on there, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. It's your it. thoughts, but at the end of the day, you know, with nobody's charged of anything. But I get what you're saying. God bless you, ma'am. I hope you have a beautiful night. Thank you so much for using your voice here tonight for Sebastian Wayne Drake Rogers. Day forty four. Now he's been missing. Thank you so much. God bless you. Yeah, a good phone call from her. 219-85-96-93 as we continue to take phone calls as we cover the case of Sebastian and Drake Rogers. Wow, she's saying a, a sack on a crane. Not too much you can say to that, but uh, bing bong. That's all I can say. 727 sent from That's my true feelings on all of these clowns. Um, what are, have these people lost their ever loving minds? It, what is happening here? And that was just so you guys know, that's a clip. All of the sounds, the bing bong, all of the sounds that you hear in there, there are his, like he put all of that in there. Why is your neck so strong? Are you a Venus? Please find something better to do because I think you've bing bonged a few times. Anyways, that's about it. Oh, one other thing I need to address before I get out of here today. Um, it was at the last part of my live, the earlier live stream. Somebody came in by the name of Jersey Dolphins and said, you're just a nasty woman with a year long period. You'll get yours. Uh, Jersey Dolphins. I had a hysterectomy 15 years ago. Uh what? <laughs> what? What? What immature shit is this going on? Like, where do these people come from? You've just done your period for a year. Who talks like that? Are you 12? Are you 12? Get out of my comments, you weirdos. I'll monitor my insides, you monitor yours. But I lost those bitches a long time ago. Saved me a lot of money, okay? All right. <laughs> Fuck out of here. These people are just ridiculous. I can crush walnuts with my chin. Yeah. Especially with that Molly filter. Rainbow Mom, I was dying. I was like, yes. <laughs> with a punctured floaty. All right, y'all. Stay safe out there. Thank you for everybody speaking out against this stuff. This has been completely ridiculous and it's going to continue because now, oh, hold on. Let me, let me show you. Actually, I'll give you a preview of that right quick. Let me do that. Um, I'm going to go over here and show you what Slimy did earlier because we will be talking about this. We are going to talk about Pascal. Y'all, I tried, like, I've, I had so much respect for people that, I mean, never truthfully in all reality, I didn't owe them nothing. Like, I didn't have a reason to respect them, but there was just some that I really had, I really thought better of. And Pascal was one of them. And it's really unfortunate because he has really dropped the ball on this. Like, oh, I actually, <laughs> y'all, I put her in my search bar as slimy. Whoops, it's smiley. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Hold on, give me a second. Okay, let me go over here. Hold on. Okay. Let me pull this up on this end. Sorry, guys. Give me one second. I know. It's like, what the fuck am I doing anymore? I don't even know what I'm doing. How did I end up here? Okay. Where is it? 
Lovely Ziggy. I've never, I've never watched Ziggy except for other people reviewing her. And let me tell you what, but just so you guys are aware of what's about to come, it's going to be a lot. Let me get to the right spot. I know you guys are seeing me like squinting over here. Don't mind me. There's just a certain specific. I should have clipped it, but. I was shocked by this. Oh, here, here we go. Okay, here we go. That, um, oh my God, I was saying, and he said, and a cousin as well. Oh, my. read the comment on the screen. I'm going to back it up just a couple of seconds. A year or so, they were getting him more and more speech. Maybe not, but maybe they were getting him more services, at least in school. And he was becoming more verbal. I, I don't know. Um, so Chris didn't like it. Hey, hold on before it gets disgusting. Indy, I didn't even see that. Please tell me this guy became are all in Texas. I don't know. I no, actually, I did hear him say, I think he said he is in Washington state. And thank you so much for that. KB, thank you for being here for all that time. This is about to get really gross. Trigger warning. There is no fact basis behind any of this at this point in time. Please be aware of that. This is complete misinformation at this point in time. Please do not run with this. Please, please, please do not run with what you're about to see or hear. Hey, Siggy, let's see what you're saying, honey. Let's see. Hold on. <laughs> yes, somebody just told me that, Ziggy. And we talked about Sweetie Pilo the other day, and I will be reviewing her again. Sweetie Pilo, in my opinion, is absolutely disgusting. We will be going back to her and 1111 True Crime too. We've got such a list, and it keeps growing. Oh, my God. And I love Sweetie Pilo. Somebody just told me that. And I was saying that, um, oh, my God. Of course, she loves Sweetie Pilo. Why, why do all of these grimy slimy disgusting fools run in a circle like they all oh i love that person god i was saying and he said and a cousin as well oh my god yes um oh my god yes. so this is what they're claiming now this is what they are claiming about the stepfather of sebastian rogers yes and his mom is probably the type that would stand up for him and absolutely sweep it under the rug. And I, you know, I don't know if you heard my live last night. Anyways, I, I, that's that. That's all I can take of that. But you guys are seeing what's going on. So now you guys will know where the next narrative is going. Tracy, you probably know those people way better than I do. I don't, I, I was stunned by that. Stunned by that. Donna, it's right, Marcy, where, yeah, what? But Sweetie Pilo is out there sharing this and then Ziggy's passing it on. And it, this is revival. Good question. Good question. I haven't gone over there and watched it. She's just been on it. Sweetie Pilo is terrible, in my opinion. Absolutely terrible. And her little Reverend Donna. Um, yeah. When we decide to go to church again, we'll head there. Vic, good question. I have no fucking clue. No clue. No. You guys are all spot on. Pika, 100%. I was just, why, why are they doing this? Like, why are they doing this? I, I don't get it. Clicks, views, and money, I guess. Yeah, Lily, I, I don't know much about her, but from what I've seen, there's been, I mean, I guess it's probably not shocking to those people, but broken crayon. This lady does nothing except talk crap about people. Are you talking about me? Fuck yeah, I do. Fuck yeah. When you are a piece of shit exploiting these children's tragedies and these family tragedies hell fucking yeah call me exploiter of the exploiters extraordinaire at your fucking service and if your little feelers are too sensitive to take it sit the fuck down or go cry in another chat do you need a fucking tissue did you just see what we watched did you just see what we watched they're threatening the parents 
They're claiming that somebody was SA'd. Do you not see this? And you're worried about me talking shit about these people? They're lucky that's all I can do. Truthfully, sorry, you don't like it too fucking bad. More people need to talk shit. More people need to talk shit about these people and name and shame them. That's the only thing we can do at this point in time until laws are changed. But let me tell you, we will continue on. You mind your business, I'll mind mine. Okay. Lord bless these people. Go get a prayer from T. Rev. He'll bless you. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. I will hopefully see you guys tomorrow and we will be doing Pascal. Yeah, yeah. The truth don't need no help. They lie for money. And the fact of it is, is here. Let me close that with this once again. This was supposed to be about Sebastian. And those live streams, that live stream we just watched with T-Rev, what did you hear about Sebastian that was factual, that would help highlight or bring awareness to bringing him home? What did you hear? Because I didn't hear anything. I didn't hear anything factual that could possibly lead to anything credible of bringing him home. Sebastian deserves dignity and respect. He is a missing child. And until we have anything else from law enforcement that leads us to be anything but that his parents, right now, there is nothing to show that his parents had any involvement with anything. Nothing, not one single thing. And I'm gonna continue to remain on Sebastian's side and give his parents grace and hope that he comes home because Sebastian is the one that's lost in Sebastian's story. I'm done. Like, it is what it is. Yes, thank you all so much for being here. I appreciate you all. Please continue to support the creators who are getting awareness out there about Sebastian, the true crime creators who are actually showing dignity to Sebastian. These people aren't this. And this isn't, in my opinion, true crime. This is true grime that we're watching completely. And more people keep adding to it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I will see y'all later. Thank you all for being here once again. And thank you once again to all my mods. Sorry again for those of you that I made uncomfortable with this. That was not my intention. I did not. There better not be any bullshit from it because that wasn't the intent. So again, I appreciate all of you guys so much. Have a great day. Oh, broken crayon. Okay. Well, you're good. Sorry, but I do too. <laughs> I take it back yelling at you, but I still stand on the shit. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for taking that and coming back and not being like, God, you're, I am a bitch. Okay. True grind. That's for sure. Yeah. Nothing about Sebastian, just how YouTubers and subs hate parents. Yep. All right, y'all see you later again. Sorry. Broken crayon. Hey, Molly Drake. Bye y'all.